My wife, uh, Julie, and I, we moved to Atlanta 14 years ago in 2006 when I retired from the Army after a 30-year career. And we, uh, we moved from Washington, D.C., back to the Kansas City area. We're actually from Leavenworth. And we, when we moved back to Fort Leavenworth for our final assignment, we were really open to the idea of living anywhere in the KC Metro. Didn't want to live in Leavenworth, but anywhere else in the KC Metro. And we really took two years of that assignment, and every weekend we were driving around Kansas City looking for the right place to live. Well, we settled on Olathe. And settled isn't the right word. Olathe is just a great town, and as we compared everything, it was obvious to us that Olathe was the place that we were going to be when we retired from the Army to Olathe, Kansas. And having said that, I didn't retire. I just retired from the Army. And that was the completion of one chapter of my life and the start of the next chapter, which was always somewhat of a mystery, but nonetheless the next chapter. But our intent always was, as we settled down into civilian life, to join a community and not to be a spectator on the sidelines, but rather be in the arena as a good citizen and be a part of local government, because that's so important about democracy, that's so important about our democratic process. And that's what I've been trying to do over the last 14 years, in addition to working on short lived jobs, in an engineering company in higher education, primarily in higher education. I've been working with the city on very various projects, most notably the past five years as the chair of the planning commission. Well, we've, we've watched Olathe grow, and for many of you, you've lived in Olathe longer than I have, but Olathe really is a city of transplants. You know, every year, 2,000 new people move to Olathe. They've been doing that for the past 20 years. And for the foreseeable future, that's exactly what we expect to see. So Olathe really is a city of transplants. And as I look around me and look at my neighbors, what I see then is a changing demographic. I see bright, articulate people of all ages who are, who are metropolitan. They have a Kansas City perspective. They're cosmopolitan. They have a national and international perspective. They're well-educated. They're well-read. And they have high expectations of the local government. And the problem that we have in Olathe is our local government, as good as it is, isn't as good as it should be. We need to do better. And we need to ensure that we've got local government that represents all of Olathe. It's very important. And so that's why I'm running. Because I have a lot to add to the city council. I have a lot of experience. I'm very fortunate in that regard. I'm well prepared. And I'm running for city council to represent all of Olathe, to represent all of you, to help make smart decisions, well informed decisions. people on the council who aren't just good in managing government. It's very important because we pay taxes. We want to make sure we get the best value for every tax dollar that we give the city. But we need people that are on the city council who are stand-up guys and gals who are prepared to take a position on a social issue, who are prepared to actually have a conversation about a social issue and be thought leaders for the city, not be wallflowers, just kind of fade in the background and wait to see how it all settles and then jump in, but actually assume a leadership role. So I am running also to be not just a great husband, husband of fiscal resources, but also to be a, a social leader for the city for the betterment of the world. Now, I can go on and on and on. <laughs> Joan is starting to look at me cross-eyed. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take a few minutes. I want to talk about our, our six priorities that we've identified. And to make sure I get them right, I brought my own walk card. <laughs> so and these are, you know, these are the themes that we kind of build the campaign around. First of all, is the idea of responsible, responsible fiscal leadership. So Olathe's annual budget is in excess of $400 million. It is, a, it is a big business. There's no other way to put it. You know, we have multiple sources of revenues, not just our tax dollars, our property tax dollars or our sales tax dollars, but multiple other sources of revenue. And in fact, all of our sources of revenue feed into 52 different funds. So as you look at the city budget and begin to analyze that, it's just complex. And so we need people on the council who understand the business of city governance, understand the business of running Olathe as a business and can do it very thoughtfully. It, you know, it's important that we have people on the council who don't just accept what city staff says as true, Although it is true most of the time, I mean, don't get me wrong, but you got to have the intellect and the experience and the training and the education to be able to ask questions, intelligent questions, and try and shift priorities where it makes sense to 
make sure we're doing the right thing in a balanced way for all the way.